This is the Chipotle chicken burrito bowl. Everyone that I know who orders it loves it. But today, I'm gonna show you how to make it from scratch, maybe even better, but definitely dang delicious. I don't know, they just pile the lettuce on top. It's smushed with the guac and cheese. It just feels like they slapped it together. Usually the white rice, which I don't even see. Oh, there it is. Got a layer of chicken. I went with pinto beans just cause I like it better. We have a lot of guac, which is nice tomato salsa. I also asked for the corn salsa. There's a little bit of green bell peppers. Mm -hmm. But I feel like this was just haphazardly thrown together. If you don't care about the aesthetics of your bowl, that's fine. I do. Mm. You gotta give it to them. Their chicken is amazing. It's so flavorful. But I really wanna try the cilantro lime rice. I mostly taste mm. lime. A hint of cilantro. Probably good if you don't like cilantro. I think we can make this more delicious, definitely more aesthetic for sure. So first things first, we're gonna start with our marinade. The longer the chicken sits in our liquid flavor, the better it tastes. So in a pan, I'm gonna combine four cloves of garlic that's finely minced, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of kosher salt, half a cup of orange juice to give it some sweetness and the citrusy flavor to come through, half a teaspoon of oregano. Whenever I'm making this or carnitas, I always use Mexican oregano because it's more pungent and it just gives the right flavor that I'm looking for. Then of course since we're making chipotle chicken, I'm gonna be using chipotle in adobo sauce. This can with the whole chipotles, uh, they're super spicy so you can do one chopped up with some of the adobo sauce or I use this brand right here which is already pureed and it's a little more mild so I do two teaspoons of it just to add a hint of heat. Their chicken also wasn't all that spicy so this should be good. Finally we'll add a quarter cup of olive olive oil, give the marinade a good mix, and then we add the chicken. For the chicken, I always use boneless, skinless chicken thighs. They're more flavorful and juicy, and they can really take the heat when grilled, which is what we're gonna do later. Let this sit for at least an hour to overnight. Like I said, the longer the better, so this can also be made ahead of time. All right, now on to the famous cilantro lime rice. Theirs wasn't bad, but we're gonna make ours extra flavorful. I'm using two cups of white basmati rice because it separates better, and then we'll just give it a quick rinse. I'll drain it with water and then in a medium sized pot I'll add some olive oil. We'll toast up the rice. It will take a little bit of time for the rice to dry but just be patient and then we'll toast it up until it's slightly golden brown. By toasting it up you're locking in the starch keeping the rice from getting mushy and it also gives the rice a nutty taste. Pour in four cups of water or broth if you prefer, half a teaspoon of salt, a dash of cumin, and a small piece of lime peel. We're not going to get any of the white parts just the green so that it releases the lime oil into the rice, giving it better flavor. I'll let it come to a boil until the water is almost fully absorbed. I'll give it a final fluffing. I'll cover it up, let it sit for another 15 minutes to finish steaming and cooking. So while the rice is doing its thing, we're gonna go ahead and make our guac and salsa. For me, a burrito bowl is not complete without the two, so I think it's essential. But first, for the salsa, we're gonna chop and dice a large ripe tomato, add it to a bowl, and then we chop up a quarter of a large red onion just take half of it and save the other half for the guac. Then I add one clove of minced garlic, two to three teaspoons of chopped cilantro, and juice from half a lime. A quarter teaspoon of cumin, a quarter teaspoon of chili powder. This makes it nice and smoky and kind of interesting. A dash of salt, give it a mix, and then we'll let it hang out while we make our guac. The great thing about these two is that they contain very similar ingredients, so I can prep them all at the same time. So in another bowl, add the onions that we've already chopped up, another clove of minced garlic, about three tablespoons of cilantro as well, a whole avocado, this one's perfect, a quarter teaspoon of cumin, and instead of chili powder this time, we're using smoked paprika, a quarter teaspoon of salt, lime juice from half of the other lime, and now give it a good mix, mix, mix. I usually add tomatoes to my guac, but since we already made the salsa and it's all gonna come together in a bowl, we're gonna leave it out. Plus, I don't think they had theirs in their guac either. Now, the beans. I personally prefer pinto beans because they're creamier, but Chipotle also serves black beans, so you can use either one you prefer. Now, in a small pan, I'm gonna add some olive oil, quickly cook up some chopped onions and some chopped green bell peppers until they're fragrant. Then I'll add in a clove of garlic and a can of pinto beans with some of 
it's liquid. It's kind of salty, so try not using too much, but we definitely need the liquid here. Add a dash of chili powder, cumin, and once the beans are warm through, we're done. So this makes quite a bit for the burrito bowl, so you'll likely have leftovers, but you can always use it for a huevos rancheros with eggs the next day, as I showed you in my breakfast video. So go ahead and check that video out after you're done watching this one. Toppings are done. We've done a lot of prepping and cooking. I think I need a drink. So let's make a quick and refreshing strawberry agua fresca. So everything goes into a blender. It comes together really fast. We have two cups of washed and whole fresh strawberries. I'll add in two cups of water, juice from a whole lime. Usually you would use sugar or agave, but I like using honey, so one tablespoon of that in and just give it a whirl. Because each fruit is different, give it a quick taste and see if you want it more tart, more sweet, and adjust it accordingly. Mm. Perfect. Now in a glass with ice, I'll pour our strawberry agua fresca right on top, garnish it with a wedge of strawberry and a mint. Fancy and refreshing. One for you, one for me. Cheers. If you guys really wanted to, you can also add your favorite spirits. Just saying. Okay, so back to our burrito bowl. Let's go. I had my burrito bowl with the corn salsa and it kind of got lost in everything. So we're gonna take a totally different approach. I have some olive oil here and I'll just place the fresh ear of corn on this hot grill. And as it's cooking, I'll just brush on the olive oil to help get that smoky charred flavor. And once it's done, we'll sprinkle on some chili powder. Okay, so that's done. Let's move on to our chicken. The grill's already hot. So I'm just gonna grill the chicken on each side for about four to five minutes until it's cooked through and let it cool off a bit before we cut it into smaller chunks. Welcome to the Honeysuckle Cafe Burrito Bar. Let me go ahead and build your chicken burrito bowl. So here we have our cooked basmati rice. I'm gonna add in our cilantro and give it a final squeeze of lime if you want it more tart. Because we already cooked it with the lime, it's already infused, but make sure to grab that piece of lime out because you don't wanna eat it. <laughs> grab a scoop of our cilantro lime rice onto a bowl and then to the side of it, I'm just gonna add some already chopped romaine lettuce. Part rice bowl, part salad bowl, I'll layer on our grilled chicken that we've already chopped up, our grilled corn that I've cut into smaller kernels, the pinto beans, our salsa, our guac, a dollop of sour cream if you want it, and finally a sprinkling of shredded cheese and a wedge of lime in case you want it even more tart. So here is Chipotle's chicken burrito bowl and here is mine which is from Honeysuckle Cafe. Which one looks better to you guys? I mean aesthetically this one, I don't know if it's because it's to go where they just slapped the romaine lettuce right on top, but I mean, it just like covers everything up where I would have liked to see layers. But we know this tastes pretty good. Let's see if mine tastes more delicious. I got the essentials, guac, rice, beans, chicken. Mmm, mmm. Wow. Okay, so many different layers of flavors. The chicken had that char smoky from the grill where I feel like this one didn't. And I mean, does Chipotle even have freshly made agua fresca? But don't take my word for it. Let's see what someone else has to say. Mm. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. If you guys like this delicious dupe, check out my other ones right here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mm. Which chicken's better? Which chicken's better? I think yours is better. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, why? Let's try it again. It's less rubbery than theirs.